So with all the days of rain we had and then the sudden heat wave we're in right now, this is the time when you're seeing the bug population just exploding. You see all the rain has caused the bugs to reproduce at a much faster rate than normal. So this is when you want to apply your insecticide. Now I applied an insecticide roughly about two months ago, but with so much water and rain in the forecast, I'm pretty sure most of that has washed away or the effectiveness of the chemicals is severely reduced. So whatever your situation is when it comes to bugs, I find applying a granular insecticide on your turf is the way to go because you're able to cover a large amount of territory in a short amount of time. Plus granular is much more easier for the average homeowner. This is not to say granular is the only way to go. You can use a liquid insecticide, it's perfectly fine. I find using granular products on the grass is much more easier. Now, when you're looking to treat your turf, using the granular product, you can use whatever product you want, entirely up to you. For this video, I'm using Seven. We all know Seven as a popular name, but when you're looking back at the back, you gotta understand that Seven has three different application rates. So normally, whatever bug you're seeing on the turf, you wanna go at that application rate in order to gain control. Now, the way I do this, and this is just me personally, but I tend to go at the heaviest rate for whatever granular product I choose to use. In the case of Seven, I'm going at the heaviest application rate, mainly because I'm more concerned about grubs and ticks. I'm not seeing any grubs on the lawn, but I am seeing ticks. And the tick season this year has been ridiculous. So going at the heaviest rate will help me gain control against ticks. By default, because I'm using the heaviest rate, I'm going to gain control against most bugs listed on this bag. So when you're applying a granular insecticide on your turf, you want to do a trim pass first. As you work your way around the corners and you're coming up on your foundation, make sure you apply some on your foundation also. This will provide you with a barrier against bugs from entering your home. Right after your trim pass, this is when you want to do regular passes on your turf. After you're done, it's very important to water the product in. This will not work unless you water the product in. Usually you want to give a light watering. I like to give two light waterings just to make sure I'm getting the product down onto the soil and at the same time I'm not watering so much that I'm washing the product away. This is especially important if you're on any kind of hill or sloped areas. So if your turf is sloped, you want to do light waterings to get the product in. One of the most important questions I get asked at this time is, is this safe for my pets and kids? And the general answer is yes, but you have to read the label. Most labels will tell you that once the product has been watered in, you have to allow product time to dry. And dry time will vary depending on where you are, how much humidity is in the air, whether you're applying this to the shade or in full sun. So with those factors, you have to take into account. So if you're in a shady area, for example, you wanna allow more time to dry. But if you're applying this in a sunny area, it's gonna take a little less time to dry. So once I put down my granular insecticide and I've watered it in, the next thing I'm gonna do is apply a liquid insecticide. But this time, I'm using the liquid to focus on the foundations, my wood line fence, and also any low line bushes. When you use a liquid insecticide in that manner, you're gonna catch any flying bugs that like to hide in shade or any flying bugs that like to lay eggs or even hide where water accumulates. The type of liquid you're going to use is depending on your comfort level and the type of equipment you have to apply it. Now you can go the commercial route and you're probably going to get more effective control using commercial products. But for most homeowners, you're going to use a hose and insecticide. Whatever brand you choose, you want to focus on your foundation, you want to focus on your fence, 
in your woods and any low-lying bushes. When you do that, you're going to gain effective control against mosquitoes and even flies. So use a liquid insecticide and focus on those areas. So guys, applying an insecticide is very easy to do. I find as an average homeowner, it's better to use a granular insecticide on your turf, water it in, then come back around and use a liquid hose and insecticide, whatever brand you like, and just focus on your fence, your foundation, your woods, and any low-lying bushes you may have on your turf. Doing this will allow you to gain control against the most common bugs in your backyard. Hope you found this video useful. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe for more future content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later.